Hey guys, remember when delays weren't a thing? Yeah, neither do I. Here are this week's biggest top stories in gaming. It's a go. Number 5. Mass Effect Andromeda got delayed from its original holiday 2016 release date to Prep your Kleenex boxes, folks. Q1 2017. I know. EA CFO Blake Jorgensen said during Morgan Stanley's technology, media, and telecom conference, the Mass Effect will be coming in EA's fourth quarter. EA's fiscal year ends March 31st, so the game is hence delayed. Number four, thanks to Xbox One preview and beta users getting early access to Xbox One's March update, we now know what changes it will bring. The update addresses a number of changes, but the biggest one is backwards compatible Xbox 360 games will now be available digitally alongside other Xbox One games. And you'll be able to publicly broadcast party chat via the Twitch streaming app. Sweet. Number three, Pokemon Sun and Moon was officially announced. The pair of 3DS games were unveiled during Pokemon Direct this week. We can now rejoice and all play the virtual console versions of Pokemon Red, Yellow, and Blue as Pokemon from these variations are transferable to the upcoming Sun and Moon games. Yay! Number two, Xbox head Phil Spencer said he is looking forward to playing Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Spencer responded to a Twitter question with, people will block me, but UC4 will be a great game, I'm sure. Surprise, he's a gamer just like us normal folk, guys. And number one, the next Call of Duty game, whatever it may be, will definitely show up at this year's Electronic Entertainment Expo. Activision teased that the publisher will be showcasing gameplay from Infinity Ward's ambitious new game, and then in the official blog stated they will be working with Sony to showcase gameplay footage because the publisher will not be present on the show floor. There you have it, that's our top five gaming stories of the week. And hey, don't forget to check out all of our Daily Fix episodes for more news. Have a good weekend, people. Thank <laughs> you.